In today's video, I'm going to be showing you an automation that you can use to easily onboard new clients and new employees into your business. Instead of taking two hours to send people emails, to add them to your Slack channel, to create documents so you can actually fulfill the services that you've promised, you can do this in two minutes flat. This automation is very versatile to whatever it is that you need for your specific business. So I'm gonna show you how you can actually change things up a bit to make it more specific for your business. And as always, all of these automations that I do for make.com are going to be down below in the automated content engine if you're interested in the blueprint and actually getting this done for yourself. So let's go ahead and get into today's automation. Okay, so here we are in the onboarding automation. As you can see, it has a lot of different things going on, but it's fairly straightforward to set up. You're just gonna have to figure out what you need for your business. I actually have this set up right now in test mode, basically, because I don't wanna have to keep filling out a form to actually test it. So my actual first module is actually going to be when someone signs on to my agency, pays the invoice, and they get that onboarding form. After they fill out that onboarding form, this is when this will trigger on the back end. You can do this however you like. You can do this as soon as someone signs the proposal and, and pays the invoice. You can do this, you know, if someone has, you know, accepted your job offer, whatever it is, you can set that as your first module. But just to show you guys what the tools module looks like here and what it has, it just has the information that would be coming from my onboarding form in Moxie. So I have the basics, first name, last name, email, business URL, company name, etc. So I'm not gonna change anything here. As you can see, I have James Johnson. I have had to change my name and I'll tell you why. It's because on the tail end of this, after everything is done, you'll be able to see um, what has been done in real time. So I've changed this to James instead of my name here so we can actually see what's going on. Okay, so from here, you are looking at a router. So this router is going two different directions. It can go multiple directions depending on what you need, but I'm gonna show you the shortest direction here and what's going on here. Right here, I am creating a client folder in Google Drive, and this is going to be for the actual client themselves. So this is going to allow the client to upload their logos, their brand colors, whatever, whatever I need to actually help fulfill the services, okay? Next, I am generating a share link for that Google Drive folder, simply because I wanna use that share link, that folder, in other places, right? So I have just put in the lead email here. This is all gonna go to me since we're in test mode. But the reason being is that I have the create a private channel in Slack, okay? So for communications, I wanna be able to speak to somebody privately in Slack as the project is going on. And what I have is I've actually set a connection with my Slack. And what we need to do is we need to name it somehow. So I think the easiest way to name it is your client's first and last name. But remember in Slack, you can only use lowercase letters. And when I first tested this, I didn't. So you have to make sure that you add this in here. And then the first name, last name is just coming from our tools module, as you can see from here. Okay, lastly here, after I have created a folder, a share link, and created a channel, I am actually creating a welcome message within Slack for the new client. So this is basically saying, hey, first name, this is our private Slack channel where I keep you updated on our campaigns and projects to keep this channel uncluttered. I'm asking that you upload all of your documents we may need, like images, logos, etc., to our shared Google Drive folder. And so that's where that shared link comes in play right here, okay? All right, so let's move on to the second part of the router. And what we're doing here is we are creating an onboarding email via Gmail. So basically, you're gonna have to set up your Gmail account, make sure you have it connected. And what you're gonna do is have the email address of the lead email here and welcome. So your subject message, 
um, sub subject, you can actually write whatever you want. But as far as the content, I am writing information about what are the next steps. So basically, thank you for filling out the onboarding document, next steps, schedule the kickoff call. I'll add the link in here for them. I also have information about the Slack channel. So that way they know what to expect and you know there won't be any surprises about anything as far as onboarding. Okay, so, and what you'll see here is I actually don't have an email, a live email here. I actually have a, a draft simply because in times past, I've actually tested an automation and had an email go out and I was using old client data, very embarrassing. So I suggest if you are going to be um, creating automations and sending emails when you are testing, I suggest that you actually create a draft versus actually sending a live email that can actually go to somebody's inbox. Okay, so next up is creating another folder. So the difference here between these folders is this, this is going to be an internal folder for me, and this is information, I'm gonna keep information here that I am creating on behalf of the client, okay? So this is an internal folder, same way you're setting up that client folder here, you're putting it where it needs to be, and what I have here is I have internal in parentheses just so I know that uh, it is an internal folder and not a shared folder, so make sure that you're putting no share, okay? Next, this is specific to my business, but when someone fills out a form or an onboarding form, whatever it is, it comes as like a web document, so it's not a PDF per se, but I actually wanted that form to be converted to a Google Doc so I can actually put that into the folder. So once again, you are at Google Drive, and the file location, you wanna make sure it's actually going to the folder that you actually just created. And so what I basically have is just the onboarding form for you know client's first name, last name. And then this is just filler content for now. And then I am asking it to actually convert this to a Google Docs document. And I'm gonna show you all of this here in a minute. And then next up, we have a HTTP making a request. And right here is basically me trying to get information from the client's website and getting that information and actually using that information for things that I'm going to do for them on the back end. All right, so this next module here is a text parser. So we are doing the HTML to text. Basically, it's gonna take that information from this module and actually make it text so it's actually readable. And so what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to have to add the data from the HTTP module before it. Okay, so this is where it can get customizable here with these routers. Actually, both routers are highly customizable. So with this router, like I said, since this is an internal um, onboarding for me, I'm having it create specific documents for me that I can reference in the future and that I can use in the future. So specific to me, I'm having it create LinkedIn posts, URLs, email sequences, and lead magnet ideas specifically, right? And so basically what this is going to look like is you are routing and you wanna use ChatGPT or any other large language model that you actually use and you are going to have it create whatever it is that you need for your clients, right? And so as an example, I have it creating 10 LinkedIn posts and it is using the text here um, about the client's website to personalize the content for the business. So nothing special about any of these except for the fact that you've gotta customize this for your own, right? Um, this is just more information about creating URLs for the business, creating email sequences, and lastly, the lead magnet ideas. And so as far as the email sequences, I actually gave them um, examples of email sequences. So from here, we are actually creating the information and then we are going on and creating a document. And so another Google connection that you're gonna have to make here. And then what you wanna name the document and then what we're using as far as content. So the content is gonna come directly from that chat GPT prompt before it or that chat GPT module before it. 
And then also choosing your drive, choosing the, the new document's location, and that is going to be wherever it is that you actually set up for your folder here. And you are pretty much done at this point. So it just depends on what you need for your business. You can also add in another area here if you wanted to put more information into your CRM. So say for instance, you're using AI table, Airtable, um, Google Drive again, you can have another router going down here saying just go ahead and update the CRM. But since mine has already started in the CRM and it's already updated because they've already paid, I don't need to actually add that in. Um, another thing for course creators or for companies that are using this for employee onboarding, this router can actually add somebody to a course or add somebody to the training that you have for them. So that's just another option. But this is, like I said, highly customizable. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and run this scenario. It does not go really, really fast and it doesn't go really slow. So it should probably take about a minute. I'm going to run this scenario just so you guys can see the output on each of the modules, number one, and I'm going to take you to my Google Drive folder. So that way you guys can see what has actually been populated on my behalf for a new client. And so I think this is a really, really, really cool automation considering the fact that, you know, we didn't have this technology a few years ago and the time it took to actually onboard a client can be a lot of work. And so I'm not saying this is going to replace everything 100% depending on what type of business you have, but this can save you hours. So if it even saves you two hours per client and you sign three clients a week, that is six hours a week that it has saved you from this manual work that you can now have automations actually do for you right so now we're on the second row slack channel everything has been created so as you see everything went through and so what i'm going to do now is take you to my client onboarding folder in my google drive and i'm going to show you so we said james johnson was the one that um, we were running this on and as you can see it's 121 and so I'm just going to click on this and show you like I have all five of the documents that I requested all five of the documents that I made and I think it's pretty cool so this is all going to be obviously very generic because we're just using that tool module but it's still pulling in the information that I asked it to and I mean, this is a complete game changer. Like if you are a social media manager and you need it, you know, to actually um, come up with content. So this is not perfect per se, but this gives you enough that you can start with, right? This gives you enough of a head start to where you're not taking all of that time that you used to have to take in getting that done. So this is a really cool automation. I'll go ahead and show you guys also the Slack channel because that was a, another big deal. And so I'll show you the Slack channel. Okay, let me get to the Slack channel here. I have it pulled up here. And as you can see, I've got James Johnson. And so this is the information that I had in the automation. Hey James, this is our private Slack channel where I keep you updated on campaigns and projects to keep this channel uncluttered. This is the message that I actually programmed here and make. So as you can see that, that is there. Another thing that we need to go look at are the email drafts. Okay, so as you can see, I'm in the drafts folder. And so we've got James. And you can see the information here. I need to work on the formatting, but that's okay. Um, but you see everything is here. So this is awesome that you can actually get onboarding done with like the click of a button. If you need any help with anything, if you need any help setting this up for your business, your company, I'm going to leave my information down below so you can contact me. And also for those of you who want to do this on your own, I have this 
um, blueprint that is actually going to be uploaded in the automated content engine. So that way you can take this blueprint, you can change it up however you'd like, but that will be there for you. The link is down below for that as well. But in the meantime, if you like this video, please subscribe, please like the video itself, please share with others, and I'll see you in the next video.